Ukraine might face hellish April. Military observer on Russia's missile attacks capabilities. Large-scale missile attacks on Ukrainian territory will continue in the coming months, Denis Popovich, Ukrainian military observer, suggested on Radio NV. By now, they have a stockpile of missiles, Popovich said. They made them, accumulated, when there was no missile strikes for 44 days. Now we are facing the same situation as last year when there was a big break before May and then there was a hellish May. I believe that we will have a hellish April because they stockpiled a lot of missiles. He added that he would be happy to be wrong but notes that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence and the third time it becomes a system. On March the 24th, Russia conducted massive missile strikes on Ukraine. Russians attacked Ukrainian cities with 29 cruise missiles and 29 attack UAVs. Air Defense Forces destroyed 43 targets. Also, one of the Russian cruise missiles that attacked Ukraine flew into Poland for 39 seconds. 19 missiles and 7 attack drones striked Lviv Oblast, where they hit infrastructure facilities. In the morning, Russia attacked this facility once again with hypersonic missiles. It is noted that the Russian army fired Kinzhal missiles at a critical infrastructure facility in Lviv Oblast. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that last week Russia used nearly 190 missiles, 140 Shahed drones and 700 guided bomb units against Ukraine. Zelensky stressed that during more than two years of the full-scale war, there has not been a single week in which Russia has refrained from terror. And we are doing our best to make sure that the occupation contingent feels our quite fair response to this terror in the same way every week, every day. I am grateful to all of our heroes who destroy enemy logistics in the occupied territories, those who clear Crimea and the Black Sea of the occupier's presence, this is a difficult task, but our warriors are completing it step by step. Everyone sees that, the president said. Предусмотрен пунктом Б части 3 статьи 205 Уголовного кодекса Российской Федерации. Руководство статьей 108 Уголовного процессуального кодекса Российской Федерации постановил избрать обвиняемому Файзову Мухаммад Сабиру Закирчоновичу меру пресечения в виде заключения под стражу, установить срок его содержания под стражей на один месяц 28 суток, то есть до 22 мая 2024 года. До наработки конвоя не нарушаем. Вопросы не задаем. По первой команде покидаем зал судебного заседания. Хорошо. Хорошо, давай. Да, я приеду. Да. Давай, давай. Время выходим. Смотри. 